Good afternoon. This is Rich Nass, Executive Vice President with Open Systems Media and leader of the Embedded and the IoT brand. I'm here for this week's installment of Five Minutes with. This week, I am with Steve Cliff, who is the CEO of Ultra Haptic. Ultra Haptic. Good afternoon, Steve. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Good to talk to you. Good. Also good to speak to you. Okay, uh, Ultra Haptics is a fairly new company as far as I'm aware. And um, in general, we don't like you to talk about your company or your product in these interviews. But what you guys do is so, I'll say, out there. I mean, literally out there. Um, I'd, I'd like you to explain to the folks what it is that you're doing, and then we'll get into how it actually works. And then if we still have time in our five minutes, um, we can talk about where it applies. So what is the technology that you guys have created? Okay, so we use ultrasonic, uh, an array of ultrasonic uh, transmitters um, that we actually focus to a point, which means that we can create feeling in midair. We can actually touch things that don't exist. You can touch things that don't exist. Okay, I just want to make sure that we're getting that right. So yeah, that's absolutely you're, right. You're touching a, a spot in the air. It brings back memories of Tom Cruise in one of those movies where he was moving things around in the air. Is that are you familiar with yes. that? Is it the same? I time? am. So yes, Constant. we do get compared to Minority Report quite a bit. Um, okay. So yes, um, it allows us to create buttons switches and sliders in midair, um, and obviously shapes as well. So you can apply this to virtual reality as well as just control systems and all sorts of applications. Okay, before we get to the applications, explain how it works. So we have, as I say, we have a, an array of ultrasonic speakers and we use off-the-shelf components, generally uh, parking sensors or reversing sensors that you would find in your car. Um, and what we do is we take each one of those individually and we change the amplitude and phase um, so that the, uh, the, the resultant sound waves, when they all reach a certain point at a certain time, create a high pressure point that you can feel against your skin. And so it allows us to, and we can do multiple points at once, which means we can think, create lines or circles or whatever it is, and you can feel those in midair. Okay, and how accurate is that? Um, the accuracy is down to the wavelength of the sound. So at 40 kilohertz, which is the frequency that we use, the accuracy is 8.6 millimeters. So we can hit a fingertip, and it doesn't degrade over, over distance. So we can hit a fingertip at 2 feet. We can hit a fingertip at 10 feet. It's a, it's a, it doesn't degrade, so it's quite accurate. Huh. How hard is it for somebody to get used to that? I mean, it's pretty different from anything that, that people have, have used. Yes, we get some interest, yes, exactly. We get some interesting reactions um, in, uh, in terms of the first time you use it. But I think once, once you've been using it for 15 seconds or 30 seconds, you get used to it and you think, ah, actually, I get this, and it works, and it does what it's supposed to. Yeah. 15 or 30 seconds. Okay. All yeah. right. So where are the places um, it, would, it would make sense to use this technology? Okay. So the interestingly for me, um, the most enthusiastic marketplace is automotive. Um, to add to the gesture control systems that you're beginning to see in vehicles. Um, so what it does do is when you put your hand out to gesture, you feel the button come to your hand. Um, and so you know you're engaged with the system. And then when you make a gesture, so if you're turning the air conditioning down two degrees, you'll feel the two clicks on your hand in midair as you're turning it down. If that feedback isn't there, you can rotate your hand and gesture, but then you still need to take your eyes off the road to look at the dashboard to see whether that what you've actually done has worked. And so we get the, you get that instant feedback on your hand. Okay, I'm having a little trouble envisioning the, act, the, the tangible feel of a click when there's nothing there. Yes. It's, it's an interesting concept. So, um, yeah, you can, and, and you can just, it's just like being hit on your hand. You can feel it go click, click on your hand as you, as you, as you gesture or rotate your hand in midair. Um, okay. But yeah, it's, um, it is interesting until you've tried it. Is there some sort of video people can look at to see this in action? Yes. Do you have a link? Yes, can... yes we have a link. Um, uh, there's a couple of YouTube videos. If you type in Ultra Haptics 
uh, into uh, into YouTube, you will get uh, a couple of videos. One is um, showing applications, and the other one is a reaction video where we film people's reactions to actually playing with the technology, so you can see reaction and also see the application. So I would I would re highly recommend you do that. Very cool, very cool. Okay, we've used up our five minutes. And uh, it was well worth it. That was very cool. I'm going to go check out those videos. I would love to see this in action. Um, Great. Great to talk to you, Rich. Same here. That was Steve Cliff. He's the CEO of Ultra Haptics. Ultra Haptics. Boy, I'm having trouble with that one. Ultra Haptics. And I am Rich Nask with Open Systems Media. Have a great day, Cliff. Thank you.